Welcome to Top Speed, my name is Christy and today in our garage is the 2009 Toyota Tundra Crewmax 4x4. The Tundra is a full-size pickup truck that was first introduced to the market in 1999 as a 2000 year model. Toyota did such a great job with the Tundra's design that they were nominated for the North American Truck of the Year Award and was Motor Trend Magazine's Truck of the Year in 2000 and 2008. In 2007, the second generation Tundra was born, leading up to this new 2009 Tundra, which not only looks tough, but has the engine and power to match it. With its large 5.7 liter V8, this engine can produce up to 381 horsepower. For those of you who are worried about the MPG, this Tundra has the MPG of 13 city and 17 highway. The starting price for the 2009 Toyota Tundra is $22,000 for the regular cab, $25,000 for the double cab, and $27,800 for the crew max. Our test vehicle has a price of $33,985 because it's the crew max trim and has the optional 18 inch alloy wheels, running boards, a DVD and navigation package, towing mirrors, and much more. So now that we have more information on the Tundra, let's go outside with Miles and check it out. Thanks, Christy. We're here with our 2008 Toyota Tundra Crew Max Cab SR5. Now, this is still top speed. I know you're looking at a truck and you're thinking maybe it's top haul or top torque. No, we're still top speed. I tell you what, close your eyes and just think of this. Are they closed? Good. Think 5.7 liter dual overhead cam V8. Think variable valve timing and think 381 horsepower. Now open your eyes again. Looks better, doesn't it? That's because it's a sports truck. Now, if you still can't get over the size, I gotta tell you, that's your fault and that's my fault because back in 1993, Toyota first made their full-size truck, the T100, but they looked around and they said, you know what? What we really want is people aren't gonna need all the size of the full-size truck. So they made it just a little bit smaller and what they ended up doing is they had the 9 tenths truck. It was 9 tenths the size and it had 9 tenths the power. And the problem was is that it didn't sell quite as well because of that size difference. So Toyota came back in 2000 and they came with the first generation Tundra. And that Tundra again, they wanted to keep a little sportiness and so it lost some of its size. And it sold well, but people again said, give me a big truck. In 2007, the second generation Tundra premiered. But that Tundra on the other hand, was the same size as all the full size trucks. And in fact, in some cases, it's a few inches bigger. So now when we take a look at the truck though, one of the best things I like about it is the color. We got it in a black color because this truly is one of the biggest trucks you can get from Toyota. We got the 4x4 model, so it's tall. We've got the crew match cab, so it's long. And the whole point is, if we got a big truck, we got a nice tough color. Because if you're going to be big, you should be tough as well. Have good timing. It just started raining and well, there's no better place to be on a bad day than in a nice big tough truck. That's the truth. Now, Toyota's been doing interiors for a while and they've been doing trucks for a while so they really know what they're doing. The steering wheel is made of a good quality leather and that's always appreciated. But more importantly, in a truck, they made sure that they made all these central controls out of big chunky material. Things like the four wheel drive, this, the climate control system, the gear shift knob. All of those are big enough that you know you can grab them while you're still wearing your gloves. And that's something you need from a work truck. In fact, value is the only other thing that you really want in your work truck, and you really get it in here. For about $34,000, you can start out by getting the big V8 we have and the Crew Max cab with all the space. Also, you get legendary Toyota quality. All the materials feel a good fit and finish. They feel like they're going to last a while and they can be with you for a while. Our truck, on the other hand, though, does top out about $40,000, and that's because we wanted to put a few extra features in here, like our touchscreen satellite navigation system. We like it very much. It works well. We think it's worth the money. Now, if you really want to talk about value, though, if you want to, in square footage, this truck really has it because, like I said before, this is a full-size truck. It feels big. It feels wide. In fact, the dash panel is separated into two spaces. 
one for the immediate part of the driver, which it has all the immediate controls, and there's a second part that's a little bit of a further reach because it's just that wide and separated by its own separate new color system. In fact, there's so many cup holders, there's so many storage spaces in the center console, in the bins. In fact, they have even just a little space where you can stick files just because they have extra space. But speaking of extra space, there's even more of that in the back seat. So why don't we go look at that now? We brought you back here to show you something that's really nice, and that is, this is full seating. As you can see, I'm leaning forward, I'm not even sitting back, plenty of leg room, plenty of body room. That means that in other trucks, you've seen that sometimes the back seat's kids only. Well, in this particular one, you can see that this is full seating, which you can take, means you can take the whole family, or you can take the shop foreman and three of your coworkers to lunch whenever you want to. But another really great feature about the truck is the back window here. And what that is is that the back window can actually go fully all the way up and all the way down. While more mischievous people might try to fit a person through there, the real function of it is, is that if you have something that won't completely fit in the bed, that also acts as a pass-through. And that shows that Toyota was thinking about you all the much more. Now, as I said before, this has got a, it's got a nice V8 engine. It's actually got four valves per cylinder. And what the 32 valves in this engine really does is that with the dual overhead cams gives it a lot of get up and go. A lot more than you'd expect just out of any other truck. Well, that's a really good feeling here, but remember, there's also, it's a truck, so there's also a lot of torque to it, actually 400 foot pounds. And it just gives it that real sports car feeling. Now, the drive of the truck, on the other hand, we have a solid rear axle, we have, we sit up very high, so it's a lit, it's not exactly planted to the ground, but that's also not what you bought the truck for. I guess a better way of putting it is, this truck handles very much like you would think from an old-time muscle car. It's got a lot of raw power, but you don't want to take it in the twisties, and again, you bought a truck, you're here for the hauling power, and that's where the 400 foot-pounds of torque come in. I've actually hauled a ton of sod in a Tundra before. Not a lot of sod, an actual ton. And that's because there's a, there's a towing capacity on this truck that is 10,000 pounds. And that is a really good thing. It really shows and the truck can handle it. It can handle the steering, it can handle the braking. Everything feels very sharp and very deliberate. The brakes are very much on task and they're very hard, they're very good, and they're always there when you need them. Now other elements of the ride, we actually have a very good thing here with our rain. The rain and the stormy weather we have, I feel very confident in driving this truck. If I had a smaller car, I'd be watching the road a little bit more. Here, I'm just making sure I can make the twist because with our truck, combined with both the high and low four-wheel drive, I know no matter what goes on, it'll go right through it. And that's just a really nice feeling that you get from our sports truck. Thank you, Miles. Well, that's all we have for today on the 2009 Toyota Tundra Crew Max 4x4. See you next time for our next test drive.